guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about a new ROM and this is an install and preview video. So of course it is about the Zenfone Pro M1, the Android version is Android 9 and the name of the ROM is Pixie OS version 2.0. Now I've been reading a lot of things about these particular ROMs which are based on Android 9 or Android Pi for the Zenfone Pro M1 and over the next few days you will see Aero ROM, you will see a new OS which is Revenge OS and a couple of more installs and previews. Now something that I wanted to let you guys know is that the way I'm going to review ROMs is changing now. So what we're going to do today is probably in the next week or so we'll have three or four installs and previews. Then you will have a video say 24 hours with Pixie OS or 24 hours with Lineage OS and then there'll be a third installment that is a final verdict that is a complete review of Pixie OS or Lineage OS or whatever the relevant ROM is. Now I think this particular method is going to work really really well. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this method of reviewing ROMs. But for today if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because we do awesome stuff with smartphones. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 and that is also going to get a lot of action in the next one or two months. So without wasting any more time, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Hey guys, welcome to another video and today's video is going to be about Pixie OS for this wonderful device that is a Zenfone Pro M1. So as you can see on the screen, we are right now on a stock ROM that is a TWRP based stock ROM. So let me just go ahead and show that to you guys real quick. First talk is security patch and the build number is 327. So we do have TWRP installed and all the regular things installed. I would recommend you go ahead and copy this ROM and all the other things that are needed to your phone's external memory. That is the SD card because that is a much more convenient way of doing it. I would highly recommend you guys to go ahead and back up all your data. Make sure you have more than 50% battery and we will be doing a clean flash. So this is basically an install and preview. So we are just going to install the ROM and then we will have a first look at it so of course right now everything is backed up and taken care of so let's quickly go ahead and power the device off there we have it okay once the phone is powered off you need to press volume and power down in order to go to TWRP so we will press and hold both of those All right, and the moment you see the powered by Android logo, you can go ahead and release those buttons and it should boot into TWRP just fine. Now you will need Google Apps and the ROM file and it is recommended that you be on the latest stock ROM before you try this so that you don't run into any errors. And uh, just to give you a heads up, this ROM is based on Android 9.0 Pi. All right, so as you can see on the screen right now, we are in TWRP. So the first thing that we're going to do is of course wipe, advanced wipe. And then we'll wipe all these things dalvik cache system vendor data and internal storage and swipe to wipe now you may choose to not wipe internal storage that is completely your call but i prefer to have a very very clean install that's the reason i did it then we need to go to install up a level select external sd and let's select pixie os there it is so let's swipe to confirm flash. Now this flash will take anywhere between two to three minutes. So please be patient while that happens and then we will be flashing Google Apps and we will boot into the ROM. We will have a look at what kind of a boot animation this ROM has and as I said earlier in the intro, let me know in the comment section if you want me to review this particular ROM because then I can decide to use this as my daily driver for a couple of days and then I can make another two videos for you guys. You know, the 24 hour impressions and then the final verdict on this particular ROM. All right, so as you can see now, the ROM has been flashed. Next thing what we're gonna do is go to the home screen, go to install, select OpenG Apps. So we're gonna select OpenG Apps 9, Nano. Swipe to confirm flash and wait for the G Apps to install. G Apps is basically Google Play services for any of you who are new to the flashing scenario. All right, so as you can see now, the ROM has been flashed. So what we need to do is go to the home screen, reboot system and do not install. Now, the first boot will take anywhere between two to five minutes because this is a fresh install and we will also have a look at the boot animation for Pixie OS for the first time. So let's see how good or how bad it is. All right, so one look at the boot animation. It is a very, very stock and you know Google-ish boot animation. So they're not using anything special over here. And uh, yes, that is also true that this particular ROM is a AOSP based ROM. That means it is pure Android, like from the source. 
so i am expecting it to be very very bare bones but then again from what i read online it will have a lot of nifty features as well so let's wait for the rom to boot up and then we shall have a look at this particular rom okay so when you boot for the first time you will get this particular error there is an internal problem with your device that is common with all the custom roms based on android pi so you can just ignore this message we will quickly skip through the setup screen and i will show you around the rom all right so looks like we are on the home screen of pixie os that's a flashy flashy wallpaper is what we have and the gesture pill is there which is a part of android pi of course and if we have a look at the app drawer well we have very very few apps as you would expect from a custom rom for any device because that makes your phone faster and smoother minimum amount number of apps now you do have calculator calendar camera and stuff like that nothing fancy now one thing that i surely think is that now you know that gcam is working and it is an open source port why not developers use gcam as a default camera app in their roms that is a very very good thing to do but nonetheless let's quickly go to settings and first let's go to system and then let's go to about phone and if we see over here android version is 9 and that is your easter egg for android so that is there and if we have a look at the other information the security patch is 5th september 2018 so all the pixel experience like features are here you have feed to the left you have the default android p launcher which is available and overall the rom feels very very smooth and it feels very promising as well i would say but if we go to settings and let's see if we have anything that is there on the customization front for this particular rom not really we have digital well-being we have buttons and do we have anything which will allow us to customize the phone well, not really i don't think so so digital well-being is there and it is working just fine apart from that if you go to buttons you have navigation bar power menu and a few customization options over here so there's not a hell lot of customizations but from the first impressions guys i would say that this rom feels very very fluid and very very smooth and if you want me to go ahead and use this as my daily driver please let me know in the comment section because you know once we've installed it and once we've had a first look at you know maybe like the first complete functionality for example let's quickly go ahead and open the camera and let's open the front camera for that matter and let's see if it works because i think it should work just fine okay so there's no error as such the front cam is working just fine as you can see but there won't be portrait mode and all the other goodies which are usually available in a google camera or the stock camera application but another development is that the stock camera application is available for custom roms so you can maybe go ahead and give that a try as well but for now guys this was the install and first look at pixie os for the zenfone pro m1 i will be using this as my daily driver after i see the comments you know one day after this particular video and stuff and i will try to review it so for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials until the next one keep smiling take care goodbye